Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I decided um, to go back to some of my older type of videos that I normally make. Um, uh, this video here is going to be a revamped version of, um, or a more later latest version of how to import cars into Roblox Studio without needing Blender. Um, so yeah, so just to clarify, you're not going to be needing Blender at all for this. Their last video, I did have one small issue with my car that I needed to open Blender up and people were like telling me in the comments, oh, you're using Blender, you're using Blender. But you didn't watch the video to see why I'm using Blender. Literally, I said you didn't have to use Blender. It was just because I had the small issue with the car that I needed it. I honestly should have just cut that part out of the video. I guess I'm not going to be using Blender at all. I'm not going to open it in this video. All I'm going to do is show you guys how to import it without Blender. Uh, I just want to make an updated version because Roblox has gone through many changes since I made that video. To their studio and a lot of things have changed since then and uh buns are not where they used to be i should say and uh so yeah so and people are also saying that i'm using free model like I, it's just a tutorial like I, i'm just trying to make a tutorial of course i'm using a random free model i imported like at that time i did, could care less about modeling cars but in this video i'm actually going to use a car that i modeled in blender so hopefully there's no haters this time but so yeah, so the first thing you're gonna do is open up a, your Roblox Studio base blade, okay? So I just look at any random Roblox Studio, just a new one, just like this. And what you're gonna wanna do is go over here to, where is it, view, and make sure that you turn on Asset Manager, right? See, it says right here, Toolbox, View, and then you go to Asset Manager, you click it, and it'll open up, and it'll say something like this. Well, it says you need to publish this game to start using. Now, if it doesn't say this, that means your game's already published, but if it does say this, what you're gonna need to do is hit publish right here. And you're gonna call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it like yeah, garbage because yeah, we're not gonna use this anymore. And you can call it whatever you want. Hit create, and this will pretty much create your game. And boom, you'll have the folders like these right here. And from here is where you're gonna want to focus on the mesh section right here. This is where you're gonna import your cards. Now, if you do not want to um, model cards or you're just here to import, there's a couple websites I recommend to use. I recommend to go to sketchfab.com right here. Pretty much you can find whatever models you want, buy them, you can get it for free, downloadable, you can literally import anything. Like this method, you can import buildings, um, you can import literally anything you want, planes, guns, cars, whatever you want. Just make sure you're following the Roblox limit. The Roblox limit for each part, I'm pretty sure it is 10,000 triangles. So make sure your part is, that's each singular piece, each mesh plane on each uh, thing. So you can have like a hundred planes. I'm not sure, and there is a limited amount of planes. I don't remember how much it is, but just try to keep it around a hundred. Just because too many planes will cause issues either way in the game. And also for the parts themselves, make sure it's 10k each. Or I'm sorry, I should say the planes are not parts. But each, game, each thing should be 10k. So you could have 100 parts, but each one has to be 10k each. Um, so yeah, so you can import whatever you want. And there's even like planes, cars. But um, I'm going to be importing my own 3D model that I made in Blender. So uh, let's hop right into Roy Studio again. So that's how you're going to do it. You want to go here to Mesh, right click and hit Add Meshes right this will open up your folder right here wherever and what you're gonna want to do is look for your model that you have made so in my case i'm going to be importing uh, my gt63 now you can either have the fbx format of the file or the obj format i've just been recently started to use the fbx more because it seems to be much better i don't know i've just been using fbx but make sure you have this sort of file here where it's actual model itself so if i can actually open this in here you can see like the three of your this is the car i made um not done but this is what i was working on and but i'm going to import this car in to show you guys its function so what you do is you click click open and what you want to do is press apply all right here okay and this is i only have five planes on this model so and it works as a normal car and they're all under 10k triangles so that's perfect so once this is done, it'll just check mark through it. And if there's errors, there might have some errors where sometimes the name isn't Roblox doesn't like the name for whatever reasons. So there will 
have an error on that and then you have to retry the upload and or something like that and it changes the name automatically and also there's some other errors where sometimes your internet may like randomly if your internet is not stable enough it will not be able to import it for some reason i don't know roblox studio is weird and it will just give you another error but that's the case but right here it says here mine works fine so what you do is you press this x for the bulk import and there's all your planes you might have more you might have less i don't know but you do is you want to click the first one and then hold on shift and click the last one so select all of them and right click and hit insert with location okay once this is done you're gonna see your car and it's gonna look very janky at first so first things first go over here and click on double sided right here boom and there you guys go the car will look so much nicer now because each part you, you don't see through it and stuff and from here all it is down to do all you have to do now is customize the car i'm just gonna group it and call it gt 63s all right spelled that right but 83 what even is that okay and um and then you're gonna color the car in I, since i don't have that much pieces here i can just do it i'm gonna use smooth plastic this is not necessarily like part of the tutorial but i'm just showing you guys how to <laughs> i don't know and you can rename it obviously so now what do we got here we got this the windows which could be like some black uh what is this uh, like uh, i haven't touched this car in forever but we got that piece is there we got you know you got your ins underneath pieces we got this the body of the car or like the inner thing there and then you got like that part and we're gonna add a little bit of a reflectance to these pieces so i'm just like 0.2 and there you guys go you got yourselves a car imported into roblox studio easy like it's literally not that hard guys like it takes like, takes literally takes like two minutes at the max depending on your car and stuff like that so there it is and make sure because i'm not gonna get this asked in the comments make sure when you click on the car click anchor and also click on all the parts again hold on shift click on the first one hold on shift and click the last one and you're gonna scroll down to where it says can't collide and turn this off so that way you can actually use this on a chassis system and drive it all right so for now we're actually gonna play here i'm sure you guys this is the car model and if you guys want to know how to put this on a chassis the basic a chassis system like your own car model i have a tutorial video which i did a while ago um i'll put that in link in the description but uh you will be able to pop your cars on top of a chassis system and drive them around i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna put this on a chassis system i'll be right back i think i already have one i'm gonna check i'll be right back all right so i'm back and yep i did find the car that i had i already slapped this on a chassis before because i didn't put it into roblox but uh let me show you guys how it will work it's pretty much i did the same thing on this car but i did it on this car here uh or just model it should be the same exact model i don't think i changed it since then but i just slapped the chassis then i had some sound and just there it is guys the gt63 has chassis i didn't put wheels but easy to do guys easy to import doesn't take long and it works just like any other car model you find in the free models um now i use my own model you could obviously use whatever model you want um like you could literally you could just get a free model and change it and i don't know what you could do but whatever you want that's just how you do it so thank you guys for watching if you learned something new and if you enjoyed the video please do go ahead and drop a like on the video it will mean a lot to me as always guys i'll see you all in the next video